Hello guys, welcome to Chemsort and today I am going to teach you two things. One is how to revise faster. So it is normally a problem during the exams that you are not getting enough time to revise faster. So this is going to be taught by fingertip technique. This is called fingertip technique. Fingertip is used to revise faster. And second thing I am going to teach uh, relative atomic mass which is called REM. Uh, by using this fingertip technique and by comparing it uh, with carbon 12 isotope so here it is so what is what is relative atomic mass rem question mark so it is the mass of an atom compared with 1 by 12th part of carbon 12 isotope we know carbon has many isotopes uh, like carbon 12 carbon 13 and 14 what is the difference between these three types of isotopes so carbon 12 has 12 proto uh, 12 atomic mass or mass number which has six protons and six neutrons whereas carbon 13 has six proton and seven neutron whereas carbon 14 has six proton and eight neutron that is the difference so for this purpose uh, of uh, deciding the relative atomic mass we use carbon 12 isotope now why we are comparing it with carbon 12 because that fits into the scheme of scientists to decide the relative atomic mass of different atoms so what is being done into this so each atom or each atom of different element is compared with carbon 12 isotope how it is compared so I just show you how it is compared so consider this uh, as a whole atom of carbon 12 so this whole atom of carbon 12 is divided into 12 equal parts so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 I just made different colors so that you can visualize the whole atom of carbon as made up of 12 equal parts of mass so scientists use one part of this carbon 12 one like you consider this one first part yellow part so this one part is supposed to be one unit of the whole uh, carbon 12 atom so each elements atom is compared by using this one by 12th part of carbon 12 isotope so uh, when we compare this whole carbon 12 atom we find that hydro hydrogen atoms are 12 like the, there are 12 hydrogen atoms if we compare by mass with this uh, carbon 12 isotope so since it is relative to carbon or compared with carbon it is not having any units it's unitless because relationship or comparing compare does not need any unit so each part of carbon 12 like one part so 1 by 12th we compare with other atoms so in one atom in one atom of carbon 12 there are 12 hydrogen atoms if we compare uh, carbon 12 with magnesium so we'll find that two atoms of magnesium um, two atoms of carbon will equal to one uh, um, atom of magnesium that is why magnesium's relative atomic mass is tw uh, 24 so like that it is uh, you need to consider if we look at uh, helium atom uh, then compared to carbon helium atom there are three atoms so three atoms of helium together make 12 grams so one atom of carbon will be equal to three atoms of helium so like that we compare carbon 12 isotope with different atoms all the periodic table mass are relative atomic masses so the periodic table if you see that all the masses given into that are uh, per, uh, relative atomic mass and that is without unit so we use that in such a way thank you very much if you like this video please subscribe the channel and let us know how uh, you want to see the videos and what improvements should we make in making these videos thank you very much